this is my rendering engine I've been working on. It uses ray marching, which is a very specialized technique, which is really good at rendering, like, large quantities of things that are very repetitive. Like, if you look at this, this is already quite a few polygons, like, probably on the order of millions. This can easily render trillions and theoretically almost infinite numbers of polygons way faster than any traditional technique can. But of course, they have to be describable with a mathematical function. I won't go too into deep about how that works, but anyway, you probably saw the title, you want to see the fractals, so I'll tell you how to enable those. And also, the link is in the description if you want to try this out for yourself. So first step is to change default to real-time global illumination over here, and you can access this menu by just clicking on settings, this button up here. So yeah, change default to real-time global illumination, click apply setting preset, and it should change to this. As you can see, it's simulating reflections now, albeit with a lot of random noise, as well as like this indirect lighting. So as you can see, a lot of this stuff isn't directly lit by the light source over there, yet it's still not being completely black because the light is being bounced off of the actually lit portions and hitting these areas and then that's lighting it up. And so this is actually the same technique used by ray tracing in like all the new video games these days. And yeah. And so the next thing to do, oh by the way, you can change the position of the light source with the E key. This is important because the fractal is positioned at the center. So anyway, I'll, I'll enable the fractal now. First thing is you got to do is go to the sign a distance function shader tab. This contains a mathematical function that basically describes like what is actually going to be drawn. And then you can change it to fractal.glsl. This is the one to change it to. And once you click that, it'll take some time to update, a few seconds. And then here is the fractal. And it might look super noisy, and that's because it is. So I'll just head towards it and actually there's a setting that lets you go a lot faster. There we go. Then one thing I often do is I'll bump up the light intensity quite a bit because that makes it look a lot better. And yeah, here's the light intensity. It's under lightning controls, as you might expect. And there's this other setting I like to change. Reprojection edge threshold. And if you make it lower, it reduces a lot of the blurriness that happens with small details. So you'll be able to see a lot more detail. And I have it set to 0 0.005 right now. And so yeah, this is the 3D fractal thing. And again, it uses the same technique that all the like real-time ray tracing games use these days. Well, probably not all of them, <laughs> but like a lot of them. Except it doesn't require any ray tracing card, like RTX card or whatever. It's I'm actually using a GTX 970, which is a pretty old card from 2014. And it does still require a reasonably powerful GPU, but... Yeah, it's far below what a lot of the <laughs> ray tracing games require. And there is a bit of noise, admittedly, but I'm getting like 50 FPS on this, 45 sometimes. Despite the fact that it's actually computing these real-time, like, real-time, like, light bounces and indirect lighting. And, oh yeah, also, I'm considering making a tutorial on how to actually use this thing, because it has utility beyond just exploring stuff like this in real time. You can also use it to create recordings, and then render those recordings back with higher settings, and then download them to your computer, and then, like, you could, like, stitch them together into a video and use them for, like, cool CGI effects or whatever. And, yeah, actually my desktop background is one of these fractals right now. So I might make a tutorial on that if anybody wants me to. You can leave a comment if you want that. So yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video. So yeah, goodbye.